Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to do this multi-level compositing where you have a foreground object and a background object. There were some gotchas along the way. I'll point those out as we go. And let's get started. So I'm just going to start from scratch and just uh, exit out of this. And then it'll restart back up here in just a minute here. And we're just going to go into launch. And one thing that I've noticed about this is it's to your advantage to go to film and blank because I'm just going to call this composure, I guess, to three. Okay. I'm not going to leave ray tracing on. We technically don't need the starter content. The reason I want to come and film and video is that a lot of plugins that we need will already be in there. So I don't have to mess around with those. So that's my, my big thing that, uh, I don't like having to do is restart and restop. So, so the good thing about film and video is that it, it already has those things in. So we don't need to do any restarting or add any plugins. But there is something we're going to start with right now. I'm just going to dismiss this and update this. So I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. Otherwise, this is going to take all day. This is a pet peeve of mine, but I say go into edit preferences and type in orbit and turn this on. I don't know why this is even is an option. This should just be always on forever because it makes it so easy to navigate. I'm pressing Alt and left clicking. I don't know how anyone could navigate in this program. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some objects because we need some, a foreground and a background and then we'll have our green screen in the middle. So here we go. We're going to pick a shape and let's just uh, get a cylinder and let's see i am hit the space bar and i'm just going to make this kind of tall and maybe make it a little skinny and then hit the space bar again and i'm just going to come over here on the left side and just push that back into the background and then i'll hold down alt and i can just click and drag and automatically duplicate it oops make a few of them just so we have something to look at in the background okay and then I'm going to come back up here into shapes and let's just get sphere or something interesting looking. And we'll just push this forward here. And I don't necessarily want it to be the same color as the background. So I can just come down here to the materials, double click this or click this, I guess. And let's just pick a, something different. I have to apply, I guess, for that. Did I do that right? Yeah, just something different in the foreground. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay. And that'll be our materials. And then the last thing that we need is we need to add a camera, kind of like our virtual camera. So I'll put that into the scene there. And I'm just going to pull this back too. And then I'm just going to kind of move it so that I'm, I kind of know where I am here in the scene, like about like that, something like that. Okay. And I think I'll rotate this just a little bit too. All right, there. Uh, that's good enough. And that sets up our basic scene. Now you'll notice that we already have our take recorder here. We already have the composure component in. And what we're going to do is a little differently is we're going to go ahead and get our media and our materials set up. So first thing we're going to do is, I mentioned this before, is that we need to have some green screen footage. Ideally, it's already, it's as a PNG sequence. So what we're going to do is we're just going to right click and then we're just going to go to material. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Let me just delete that. Whoops. I jumped ahead of myself. Right click, go to media and go to image media source. And now I'll double click this and then I just can navigate to where my green screen footage is and it's right here. Click the first image and go OK. And then that comes in and then under advanced, if I want, I can set it to I'll just set it to 24 frames per second and just save that. And then I can close this window out. Now I can right click and this is going to be called new image media source. And I can right click again. I'll go to media and I'll go to the media player and check this box is very important. Go OK. Now if I double click this, my new image media source is right there. Double click this 
and there it is and I just set it to loop so that I can keep playing I can save it and basically I am done with that now there are some settings that you usually have to go in but in film and video it these are already set for us so it might seem like I'm missing a step but I'm I'm not that's what I realized that the beauty of going into film and video template there's no really additional settings we got to mess around with okay so now we have our media and now all we have to do is make a material it's basically we have to build our the composite ourselves, which is kind of weird. I, I think this will change in the future, but you right click and we're going to go to material. And I'm just going to call this green screen, green screen, because that's what it is. And I'll double click it. And then we have to come down here to where it says material domain and switch that to post process. And then we need a 2D texture parameter. Basically, we have to right click here. And we have to search under texture and we want this thing here we actually want three of them so i can hit Control c click over here and Control v and Control v and then what we'll do is just kind of line these up because these are going to be our layers basically that we're going to be messing around with okay so on this first one if i click it over here i can name this and i know i need to call it media no, I, I'll call this one foreground. Sorry about that. This one, the second one, click on it. I can name it over here. This is going to be my media plate, media underscore plate one. And then the last one is going to be background or BG. We just need what's called two overs. So I right click and type in over. And this is basically what's going to allow us to do our compositing. Right click again. We need two of them over. And just so things don't get too confusing, I'm, I'm only going to hook up part of this right now. And then we'll hook up the rest later. Because it does seem like it gets confusing. I'm debating if I should just hook it up all right now. But anyway, what we're going to do is I'm just going to plug the background into B. And we're coming from the RGBA because it has to have the alpha channel in it. And... Let's just go ahead and hook it all up right now because I, I don't want to come back in here. So now I'm going to put this into B here and then this one into A. Oops, and this one into A. And then this one goes in here. And that's it. So apply and save. And then we can just be done with our materials. So I'll close that window. Now this media player, I'm gonna go ahead and dock it up here just so I can get back into it if it stops playing. Okay, so now we have our media and we have our material. And then all we have to do now is the composure piece. So here in composure, I'm going to right click and create a new comp, empty comp shot, click on that, right click again, go to add layer element, and we're gonna to go to our media plate here. It's inside there. And then I'm going to right click again, create another layer. This time it's an SG layer and I'm going to call this FG. And then I'll click up here again, add another layer, CG layer, and this is going to be the background. Okay, and then all we have to do is just kind of muck our way through this whole thing. <laughs> so if I'm on the media plate, let's see, how do I want to start this? input here okay so let's on the comp we want to set the input for it to our camera so we just click that's easy enough there and we're just basically having to hook everything up right now also here on the comp since we're at it we can add that material we created so we have to come to transforming compositing process and we're going to click here and we got to click here and it should be in here if I type in green. As I call it green screen right here. And we can already see it taking shape in our, our viewport here, right? Okay, so that's all that I need to do there for right now. So let me close those back up. Now I can go into the media plate here. And let's see what's under input here. So for the media source here for the media plate, I need to choose this this media player here. There she is. 
Now I'm going to scroll down and we need to green screen her. So I'm going to come to transforming, transform pass, chroma key, and we just come down to chroma key color, hit this little plus. It gets a little confusing because it's kind of a tight workspace here. Click this. And now I just have to grab a green color and it pretty much green screens her. She's got a little bit of spill, but you'll notice on the corners here, there's, there's some vignetting. So if you come under the material parameters here, there's this one called outer and we can get rid of all that. Now I could despill her too. come down here and click on the edge. That's good enough for what we're, we're trying to do. So she's basically chroma keyed now. So she's good. And then on the foreground layer, let's see where we're at. If I click on the comp, still don't see anything yet. So let me go down here and check on our inputs and make sure everything is hooked up. Transform pass. Oh, so we got to go through and it looks like hook this stuff up. Or do we? Let me go back here. Hold on one sec. I'm just thinking input elements they all seem to be here oh this is why i didn't want to hook it all up in the beginning because what's happening here and this is really confusing is the foreground layer is actually everything's composited in but the foreground layer is blocking this media plate layer so everything's hooked up correctly but you can't see it from here but this is blocking this foreground layer is blocking this plate. So what we have to do, <laughs> what we have to do is fix that. So what we're gonna have to do is create a layer. So we're gonna come in here to layer. I'm gonna right click and create an empty layer. And then once that I'm gonna select on this ball that's in the foreground layer, I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna come back to my layer and right click add selected actors to selected layers. And we're gonna do that. And to make sure that I did that, I can toggle this off and on. So I know that I selected the layer correctly. Now with them on the foreground layer, I need to come down here to capture actors. And this seems real tricky down here to me, but we gotta click this plus sign. And then I gotta open this up here, this index, and it's on include. And I wanna to go to that layer and select it. And if I hit here, you can see her now. But there's a problem, and one of the problems is there's fog in this stupid scene. <laughs> so we have to go to, let me see here, where do we have to go? Content browser, oh, back here to the outliner. We gotta go to atmosphere fog and come down here we should be able to turn it off and now let's go back on our composure tab and see there we go and there we go you see how she's behind the foreground element so that's why i didn't want to hook up all that in the beginning because the foreground layer blocks the other layer the the media plate layer and then it gets kind of confusing and you saw me get confused so anywho i hope that was helpful now if you wanted to render this out this is the only way i know how to do it so let me go it's trying to do something here we're on the comp and we're going to go to we're going to do this two ways real real quick this won't take much time here output and we're going to add here and we're going to go to player viewpoint component and that's all we have to do and then if we just come up here into our level blueprint open level blueprint or on the event graph we just have to click here and make a variable and just compile and uh, save it and it doesn't really matter what it's called and we want to come over here and search for the media player so just search for the media player right here and when you do you'll see this object reference pop out of the side click on that and then we compile and save again and then down here we just select our media player then all we have to do is drag this onto the the event graph, hit get, and then drag off of here and just go open 
source, which is right here. And then this is going to allow us to play the, click this for our asset and then just plug this in and then just compile and save. So if we come back in here now and I hit play, you'll see our video playing in our screen, which is great. That's real comforting. Okay. So now what I'm going to, now you'll see one thing. It looks like my media player might have stopped playing. So you just have to come to the content browser, click this double click this again and then that starts it up again for some reason it stops doing that every once in a while okay and then if i come back on to my composure and click on comp you'll see everything all together now to render this out is real simple what we're going to do is we're going to actually close all this up and then we click on the take recorder we come to composure here and we just click and drag this into the sequencer. Drop it like that. And then in here, you can ex make it play longer if you want. You can, you know, the usual process here, you know, for messing around with this thing, rendering it out as long as you want to render it out. And there is one little tip and trick here, and this is the last one, is when you click on this, three dots here. It switches to movie render queue by default, but we really want this movie scene capture. And then if we click here, then we have the usual options that I've explained this before, you know, PNG or JPEG even. Pick your folder that you're gonna render it into, put this compression on 100, and then just hit capture movie and you're done. And that's it. That's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. There's a lot of little steps, a lot of little gotchas on this, but once you do it a few times, it starts making a little bit more sense. But in the world of Real Engine, it's constantly changing anyway, so <laughs> you just gotta roll with it. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.